So one of the kind of, I guess you could say, oldest traditions of blogs is to have what they call a blog roll. Now, a blog roll is essentially a list of other blogs that you read and that you like. This is a great way to help, one, it helps your readers find other blogs that you have interest in. Maybe they're also closely related to what you're talking about. It's also a way for the community to kind of share traffic. And what they do is they actually link to each other and help them drive traffic between their blogs. Um, so I would definitely recommend doing a blog roll, even if it's something as simple as your Twitter account and maybe some friends' blogs that you like. Let's learn how, blo how blog links work. WordPress actually has a very nice built-in system to handle those. Let's take a look at the dashboard. So in the dashboard, you'll notice there's actually something called links. Just click on that section there. Now by default, you see they've actually already included WordPress and WordPress.com in here. Let's say that we want to add our friends blog in there. Just click on Add New at the top. Give it a name. Now the name is what will actually appear on the link that you click. So I'm going to call this Sean's blog. And then you type in the address that you'd visit. Uh, description, that's kind of optional. You really don't need that. They do give you the option to put in more categories. So if you want, you can actually categorize your links. I'm going to call this friends. Let's see how you can check these. And when you're all ready, you just click on add link. And that link will now appear on your blog. Now, most themes have built-in uh, availability for displaying these. And so most themes that you use, once you actually add that link in there, you'll see it adds it to the right rail or wherever the real estate will accommodate the link section. If you want to learn more about WordPress, please check any of these videos above here.